All right, what's up everyone? Uh, my name is Robert and today we're going to be looking at uh, math picks in React. Um, so part one is going to cover how to upload or drag and drop files using uh, React uh, drop zone. And so at the end of the day, um, at the end of this tutorial, we're going to want to basically have a file, specifically an image, be uploaded onto our a React application and be able to be sent to the MathPix API, uh, which would then give us a JSON string filled with a bunch of feedback, which then we could use for multiple things, like using another API like MathSteps. Um, so, part one is going to cover how to upload or drag and drop files using React Drop Zone. So, um, the very first thing that we're going to have to do is basically um, create a React app. So we're going to want to do something like, let's go to CD React Demos. We're then want to uh, NPX um, create React app math picks demo. So what this is doing is we're creating a React app in the directory called uh, React Demos, and it's going to be called MathPix Demo. All right, so that took a couple of minutes, but um, everything's done. We can now go to CD MathPix Demo. Um, now we are inside it. Um, now I can say something like code dot and this will open uh, my preferred IDE, um, Visual Studio Code. Um, so if none of this worked for you, um, just so you guys know, um, that probably means that you don't have NPM, nor do you guys have um, Node.js, which just means that you have to look it up on Google and uh, download it and see if you can work it on a uh, command line. And if you guys have any other problems with that, um, just let me know. I could always make a video on that. Um, so let me just uh, open this up real quick. All right, so now we have the terminal open. This is our app.js. Um, so real quick, before we actually create this, let's say npm install dash dash save react drop zone. Um, so the drop zone is basically how we're going to be um, having a file basically um, go from our computer to this um, application. So the type of pictures that we're going to be dealing with, for one, are images, and um, the type of pictures that we're going to be specifically taking in are uh, equations like this, 16 minus 2t equals 5t plus 9. So basically at the end of the day, once we're done with this tutorial, we want this to basically be able to um, be posted on this in text or in LaTeX. And um, we're going to try to do some uh, more complex stuff with, like using math steps um, and solving what this means. So um, this was finished. Let's go import react drop zone real quick and let's press save and we're going to start the application by putting in npm start and that's going to take a couple more seconds all right, that took a couple more minutes, or uh, about a minute more than it should have. But so um, this is basically what you see once you uh, start our React application. I deleted everything else currently because we're going to do this in our own way. So we're going to now import React and component from React itself. We're then going to say class app extends component, and this isn't really necessary right now, putting in component, but um, probably later we're going to need it. So constructor props, 
and super props. Um, and let's see. And then we're going to want to say export default app. And then let's just say real quick, we're going to say render. And we're going to return just to test that this is actually working the way we want to. And actually, this is not correct. We need to say return first. And we're going to say div. And let's just have a p component that says test. So this reloaded. Let's see, what what is the problem here? Huh. Um, all right. Um, I don't know why that happened, but I deleted the logo dot SVG to remove that real quick. Um, so as you can see, it says test up here. So we know that our changes here um, have definitely fixed um, what's been happening. So Let's now start with the um, drop zone. So let's go create this drop zone component real quick. And so if we look at the um, props and methods of the drop zone, you see that there's several um, that we're going to want. So for one, we're going to want max files just so in this instance, um, we can only allow one file to be uploaded at a time. Uh, min size, max size, which means how many bytes um, we're going to allow. Um, accept is going to accept the certain MIME types, which if you don't know what that means, that's totally fine. It's just basically the image types. So PNG, uh, maybe a GIF, um, JPEG, stuff like that. And so we're just going to say right now, let's say we want a min size of one accepted. We're then going to say we want a max size of 5 million, which is about 5 megabytes, if I recall. One, two, three, one, two, three. OK, um, we're going to accept. Um, these certain MIME types. So we're going to say we're going to allow images of PNG, images of JPEG, um, images of WebP, and let's just say images of TIFF. Um, just in case, who knows? Um, we're going to say max files is going to equal one. and then no keyboard is going to equal true. So that means um, if someone were to select um, our item or our drop zone and press enter or space, um, we wouldn't need to select anything or it wouldn't open the, um, the file selector. Um, and the file selector we're gonna keep on just so it's a bit more convenient. So we're also gonna say on drop is going to have a thing, we're going to say file and console dot log file. And then we're going to say on drop accepted, which is going to mean um, if the item um, passes all of these things pretty much, then we're going to accept it. Um, so this is going to be this dot on, let's see, on accepted drop. 
and we're gonna uh, we're gonna create that method in just a second, and we're gonna say on drop rejected, which is gonna be something as simple as saying uh, console dot log bad or bad file. And so real quick, let's go up here and let's create um, this dot um, on accepted drop equals this dot on accepted drop dot bind this so that now we can actually use this um, with state objects and whatnot. And then we're going to say on accepted drop console.log we're going to say accepted file okay um, and let's just make sure real quick this is going to work um, actually it won't because we need to actually implement um, some of the stuff inside real quick so let's say um, based on documentation it kind of looks like this so this stuff right here is required for this um, uh, to actually work. So I'm just going to put these down real quick. Not really much to say here about this stuff. It's just the stuff that's required for this whole component to work. So we're going to be adding this here. And then we're going to say return. And then we're going to say we're going to return a div container that has dot 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 get root props from up there. And then we're going to say input of dot 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 get input props method. And then let's say real quick, um, actually, let's see if this works real quick. OK, well, as you can see, um, it's blank, but we know it works because there's no problems back here. Um, so real quick, we're going to need some images to basically show um, our drop zone in action. So I actually created three images real quick. Um, that we're going to be using. So I'm going to say there's going to be a new folder here. We're going to call it resources and I'm going to import three resources that we're going to use. And they're called drop zone, drop zone good, and drop zone bad dot png. So let's go import these real quick. We're going to say import uh, dnd from dash resources um, drop zone dot png and dnd means drag and drop and we're going to say import dnd good from slash resources once again drop zone good dot png i believe is how it looks right and then import dnd bad from dot resources slash drop zone bad dot png All right, and then let's import these real quick so that the base look of when um, the drop zone is not active um, is basically going to be this image here. So we're going to say this image component, which I believe can just look like this, right? And then we can say source equals D and D, and we're going to say alt is going to be D and D so that we don't get a weird alt error because those are usually annoying. And so if I go here, as you can see, you can see my masterpiece of a picture here. If I actually press this, um, we can now start uploading some of these files, but we're not going to do that real quick um, because we kind of want to drag and drop stuff. But um, if I were to start dragging and dropping stuff, um, we're not going to see anything interesting yet, 
right? It actually goes away. So, and it went away forever. Um, so we're going to finish this up by saying, um, let's see real quick. So are we actively on the drop zone? Um, and are we going to reject the item or not? So is drag reject and we're going to have an image here for that. So image source. And so if we're not going to reject it, it's going to be D and D good. And we're going to say the alt here is just good. And then is drag active once again and is drag reject and the item that we want. So this is image source D and D bad. The alt will be bad. Okay. So currently I think that should be it in terms of uh, what we want to show. So if we upload here, if we actually drag and drop something like this, it shows us good upload, yay, because um, that means that that file is between one to five million bytes. It is a PNG, a JPEG, a WebP, or a TIFF, and is only one file. Um, and say what happens when I try to glide a GIF on top of it, it says bad upload because this is a GIF. And if I actually drop it in there, if I open the inspector here and look at the console, it'll say bad file and the array will be zero. Um, but say if I drop a appropriate picture on here, it goes in, it says accepted file, and it shows us all the bits that we want which is the name, example PNG, the path, uh, the size, which is only 11K bits, uh, the type, which is an image PNG, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much part one of what we want to do. So we have basically created the drop zone. So after this, we actually want to then convert the file that comes in through this drop zone and actually obtain its base64 uh, data. And from there, we can do a lot of fun things with that. But um, today, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone.